All right, guys. Hey, this video is for Zeljeko in Croatia. He asked uh, about the flickering on these things. If when you push buttons, does it flicker on a known good unit? Well, this unit is actually good, except that it needs to be calibrated, which I'm going to show you here in a second. So let's go ahead and power it up. Sorry for the noise in the background. I'm actually at work. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you'll notice that it says test zero four. Uh, oh man, sorry about the light. Test zero four fail two, which means the cal constants are out and it needs to be calibrated. Okay, so I have to film at this angle, otherwise I end up with the lights right in the middle there. Okay, so what he was asking, let's push the AV trigger to get out of here first. All right, so what he was wondering is if when you push the buttons, does it flicker? Well, it kind of really depends on which button you're pushing. Here we go. See, if you push some of these ones, you get that flicker. Now, if you hold it down, you get that flicker. So it really depends on which button you're pushing and which one you're holding down, if you're going to get that flicker or not. I never noticed it before, but uh, obviously some other people have noticed it. See the, see the little flickers on the right over here when I push these buttons? Sometimes it's a little more pronounced than other times. And if I hold them down, these ones, it doesn't flicker. But if I hold the mode down, I get a flicker. So every time I push it, I get a flicker. Okay, so anyways, I just thought I'd put that out there for you guys. In case uh, you're wondering about the flicker and uh, if you don't have a good scope to compare it with. Like I said, this scope is good other than it needs to be calibrated because of the uh, problems that were down here. All right, one of the other things he asked for was how do you tell how long the scope has been on and how many times it's been power cycled? You can find that information in the Tektronix service manual right here. And you can go back and access it on right here by pushing the, the Delta V and the Delta T and the slope push button at the same time. That's how you get into the tests, the uh, diagnostic tests. That's on uh, page 6 or in the PDF, uh, page 232. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna hold these two down and push this one right here. See, it takes you into the diagnostic test. If you want to get out, you just push the AB trigger, but we're not going to do that. It also tells you right here uh, that you can go between uh, the test that you want or the exercise test, which will show down here, by using the mode. This is a different test. And one of the things he asked for is how do you tell um, what the hours are? So you select that, and then you hit the upper coupling button to uh, start the test. And there you are. 
power is on, it's 179. Power on and off cycles, that's the number of times the push button's been turned on and off, it's 55 times. You can uh, find out what the exercise tests are on page uh, 6-13 or 235 in the PDF. And six tests, here it is, here's the exercises right here. So I hope that was helpful. There's more uh, things in there that you can do. Uh, one of the reasons that you do this is so you can tell how long it's been on. The scope requires calibration every 2,000 hours or annually. Uh, boy, this thing would have to be running a long time, almost constantly, in order to get that 2,000 hours. So anyways, I hope that helped. All right, now to go ahead and get out of the test or stop the test, you can hit this down button right here, and then you're free to select another test just by pushing that button right there. Sorry about the reflection there. Maybe I can go up here a little bit. Loop is, if you want that test to run continuously, you push the top source, or if you push bottom, it won't go in loop, and then you can change the mode right here. These are all the different tests. You can go uh, hit all, like that, and then hit this button, and it'll do all the tests. It'll tell you which ones will pass. It, mine's gonna pass or fail on four. So it tells you that it failed test four. So if it failed test four, uh, there are a few tests that when you turn the scope off and turn it back on, uh, it'll tell you, it'll automatically go into the diagnostic test to tell you there was a failure. It's powering up. See, the lights are clicking. And mine failed. Test four, number two. So let's go see what that is. Okay, I just went over to the uh, screen here to look at uh, test four. Scroll down. And this is in uh, table 6-4, by the way on uh, table six or page 611. So you go down here to where it says test 402, out of limits, bit one set, meaning that the calibration data is incorrect. It means the scope needs to be calibrated or there was a fault during calibration, which that scope has. Doesn't mean the scope is not usable, it just means it's not accurate. All right, so to get out of it, just like it says, push the AB button. We are we're out now we're back into normal mode again so anyways uh, I want to thank you for watching if you liked the video you learned something please give me a thumbs up if you want to help my channel even if you never come back please subscribe if you want to know when I put new videos up and I do automotive and other things not just electronics uh, hit the bell just to the right of that subscribe button so again thanks for watching guys God bless you all and keep on you out bye